Hello, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I am coming here today with interesting samples that I have found. As you probably well know, there's radiation in our entire environment and our world everywhere you look. See the Geiger counter is ticking away right now, just a little bit, not much. But anyway, cut, let's cut the audio on. Um, I found some random things around that are maybe or maybe not radioactive and I tested them and I wanted to see. I went to a, 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 a new age kind of shop that's around where I live. I won't say the name because I don't want to, you know, say the name of anybody. <clears throat> I found some interesting specimens. Not this guy right here. This is something I've owned for a long time. I like this rock. But I have my, um, little intel guy suited up here to help me. Isn't that right, intel guy? Yep. Alright, good. Intel guy is suited up and ready to go. Alright. Well, let's see what I found. First off, I wrote every one of these down. I had a base of 12.4 counts per minute and I found this, uh, Amazon, uh, sorry, I found this, um, Rhyolite. The rhyolite was 14 counts per minute. Oh, where's the center of the camera? Right there, I guess. I don't know if you can even see rhyolite. It's an interesting little substance. Rhyolite at 14 counts per minute off of a base of 12 counts, or 12.4, is only 0 0.2 uh, more than the base plus the error. Maybe I should explain that first. What I do is I take a baseline, let's say 10 counts per minute. Then I do an analysis of the item and found, find, let's say, 15 counts per minute. 15 minus 10 was 5. The difference is 5. But wait a minute, this Geiger counter has a plus or minus 10% accuracy. So I have to basically take the total counts from the rock sample subtract 10% of that number and then subtract the base reading that I got and that would tell me the actual overall difference if you like and it's not very much at 0.2 counts per minute very very little so much so that I would actually go so far as to say even though technically I detected a little there's probably almost nothing in this we'll call it not radioactive the next thing I found was jet. I found I didn't have very long to pick these out, so I picked ones that ticked. But oh, when I tested them, they didn't tick very much. This is jet. It weighs very, very little. This jet weighs less than the little tiny one right here, but it looks really, really big. It's a volcanic sort of uh, rock, like pumice, similar anyway. It came in at 12.4 counts per minute, exactly the same as the base. So straight up, not radioactive. Then I found this, a piece of copper, just like a penny. The copper came in at 11.6 as opposed to the base of 12.4. Not only is it not radioactive, but it was actually 2.4 less, was it 2.4, something like that, less than the actual um, background. Actually, if you get rid of the plus or minus 10%, I think that's how it works. The reason is is that copper actually blocked background radiation from getting into the into the uh, Geiger-Muller tube. That's stupid. But I finally struck a little bit of something with this guy right here. Amazonite. Amazonite turned out to be 16.4 counts per minute as opposed to a 12.4 counts per minute base. That comes out to plus or minus uh, the 10% 2.78 counts per minute higher than background. This little Amazonite is tiny, tiny bit radioactive. What's in it? Not sure. I haven't looked it up yet. Amazonite. Here you go, Intel guy. Guard that. It's radioactive. All right, let me move all of this out of the way now and show you the next samples I got. Amazonite is radioactive. See? Just a little bit, not much. It's not even ticking. That's lame. Well, anyway, next thing I did, I went to Lowe's and I got some bricks. This is a brick. Specifically, it is a Harvard paver, red, charcoal, and tan. 
at 15 counts per minute with 11.3 bass, it turned out to be 2.2 counts per, per minute higher, 2.2 counts per minute higher than background. This little brick is actually radioactive, just a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Next thing is this. This brick, see the brick, is Autumn Blend Harvard Paver, 13.4 counts per minute versus 11.3 base. It turns out to be 0 0.76 counts radioactive. That's, that's nothing. That's like a rounding error. I don't even count that as being radioactive. It's too little. So I'm sorry, but this brick, that's a nice rigid design. No, no dice. All right, the next thing I examined was this. This is a uh, eight inch block of white lodge stone. 12.2 versus 11.3. 12.2 counts per minute, that's almost nothing. That's below the plus or minus 10% accuracy range. We'll count this as being not radioactive. Not, not radioactive. It's just not enough. Now, I have two more things. Almost done. Here. Oops, sorry Intel guy. Got his little foot caught. This right here is a piece of countryside paver at 13.4 versus 11.3 base. It is 0 0.6, 0 0.76 radioactive. That's still not, not very much. So we're noticing our building materials are pretty safe. But here we go. Look at this guy. This is a chunk of granite, similar to the type you might find used for granite ca countertops. This guy right here is radioactive. I got a 13, uh, oh, sorry, 11.3 base but it did 17.6 counts per minute. 11.6 minus 1.76, which is the plus or minus 10%, mi minus the baseline, which is 11.3, is 4.54 counts per minute more than the background. And as you see, look at that. This is radioactive. Ooh, I must have gotten a good juicy spot. My reading is even higher than it was before, because I only read one part of it, not all of it. Look at that. This is a piece of building material. You would buy this for your house. I wouldn't. Take a look at that. It's up at 0.238 microsievert per hour. Look at that. The reason I'm getting higher readings is probably because it's gamma radiation most likely. And I, when I expose the tube to gamma as opposed to the little mica window down here, uh, I should point out one interesting little side note. I did some testing on all of these uh, crystals and everything, all these rocks I found, and found that when I when I um, had the lights on, when I did a five minute count with the lights on, the, the fluorescent lights, I got 12.4. When I did a 10 minute count with the lights on, I got 12.2. So you see it's a little over 12 counts per minute with the lights on. With no lights, I got 9.8. Uh, for a five minute count and 10.2 for a 10 minute count. So it's two to three counts per minute more radioactive in the room to have fluorescent lighting. Fluorescent lighting is also radioactive. This stuff is definitely, it takes like a champ. Right at my lows too, isn't that great? The lows people thought I was crazy when I went in there and I probably am crazy since I also at the grocery store found today the Radar Men from the Moon. Only crazy people would buy this. I thought it looked pretty cool. It is not radioactive. But anyhow, folks, uh, I'll try to answer some more of your questions a little bit later. And um, I'll try to show you some more interesting stuff. Like, for instance, radioactive brick. And, of course, the Intel guy. This is Tom for anti-proton.com. Bye-bye.